Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send out an automated email when an opportunity is closed one. So the first thing we're going to do is create the email template for the email that we want to send out. So go to your email template tab and create a brand new email template. And make sure you save it in a public folder. Okay. And in my case, you're seeing me edit the, build, the template in the new builder. Um, but one way or the other, create your email template and put whatever you want in the body of your email. Now, in this case, I'm using something called a merge field. You might be used to merge fields for things like, hello, first name, right? Hi, whoever you are. Um, but it's not just for names. You could use it for any other field in Salesforce. So if you're sending out an email about an opportunity, you can pull in the opportunity amount or the opportunity stage or the close date into your email template. So now you've got your email template and you've saved it. Well, we need to create something called an email alert. An email alert is what allows you to use email templates in your automation roles. So go to email alerts and set up, create a new one. So give it a name and then pick the object that this email alert uh, relates to. In our case, it's opportunities. And then just pick the email template that you wanna send. Now, by default, it's gonna show you the classic email template. So make sure you have it switch to lightning email templates if you created a lightning template. Find your template and select it. Now you can decide who to send the email to. So the email alert has which template and who the recipients are. So you can send it out to specific users, like pick a user, like Iman will always get this email, or you could have it go to the account owner, or the record owner, or some other email address field, or you can even just hard code fields in there. But one way or the other, you create this email alert. And what that does is it says, which email template will go to who? All right, and now we're gonna create an automation rule. We're gonna create a flow. Now this flow will fire when a record is updated or changed. So when an opportunity is closed, we're gonna do something. So when an opportunity is updated and it meets this criteria, we're gonna fire our rule. So is the opportunity closed? Yes. Um, but it could be lost. You could have closed lost an opportunity. So here we're making sure the opportunity is closed one. Now you could have really any other criteria you want to make sure that this is the right time to send out your notification. And once you've got the criteria the way you want it, you're gonna go next. So this rule will fire, something will happen, and then it ends. So let's, let's create the actions. So the first thing we're gonna do is take an action. And we're gonna switch our types here and look for our email alerts. Find the email alert you just created, give it a name, and remember those merge fields in the uh, email template? Well, it wants to know which record to merge the values from. So this is where you pick the ID of the record you want that email to uh, get values from. And in this case, I'm using whatever record fired off this flow. So the opportunity that was updated, that opportunity is the one that the email will get its merged values from. You save the flow, you activate it, and that's it. The next time someone goes, and updates an opportunity to closed one, all the regular things will happen, and in my case, I will have an email with that email template, with that merge field right from the opportunity. So if you wanna send out an automated email when something happens, use an email alert in a flow. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.